people with narcissistic tendencies despise seeing others succeed. True happiness, first and foremost, comes from the inside. Narcissists are not capable of experiencing genuine joy because they have a severe lack of a sense of authentic self. Their way of seeing things leads them to be miserable people, and narcissists always deny that fact. As a result, they use people's emotions to fill all they lack and thrive on them. But what happens when narcissists already have what they wanted from their victims? They discard them like rag dolls, thinking they have ruined their victims for life. And without their presence, their victims wouldn't be happy. However, narcissists aren't always right, and they hate when they are proven wrong. So, how do narcissists feel when their old victims have a good life? Let's find it out together, shall we? Number 1. Narcissists feel possessive over their old victim's happiness. Narcissists are often associated with possessiveness. For ordinary people, it is a must to seek mutual connection with those closest to us. It is like feeling happy when you see a smile on your partner's face while staring at them lovingly. And this happiness comes from how you think your partner felt when staring at you with sparkly eyes and not based on your arrogance and superiority complex. That love describes a non-possessive love, where you consider your partner's happiness based on what they are feeling and not your actions or your existence in their life. A narcissist's fundamental motivation is to dominate those closest to him, and the love they have is anything but non-possessive. Considering narcissists are known for being possessive, they might want to have their old victim just for themselves. They are used to being the ones at the receiving end of their old victim's happiness, and narcissists cannot take the fact that their victims would be able to be happy without them around. And if you haven't figured out how narcissists operate yet, let me tell you that is usually how their supply cycle begins. So be aware of your exes, or you might get entangled in their chaos again. Number 2. They will get angry seeing the good life of their old victims. Narcissists are troubled individuals. They usually have anger issues that are too hard to handle, even for professionals. Imagine how narcissists would react when what they thought was uselessly outstandingly flourished when taken care of the right way. Put yourself in the shoes of a narcissist. Then you would know how angry they can get when their old victims have a good life. Narcissists expect their victims to be miserable without them. Empty, lack of warmth, and just utterly miserable. But what narcissists do not see is each people are different, and the most normal ones have hope of recuperating their self-love and self-worth alone. The sad thing is, narcissists can't do that. And when narcissists figure out this fact, their anger will turn into resentment. They will be laden with insecurities which they try to hide away from people. Number 3. They will feel envious of their old victim's new partner. A narcissist wants nothing more than to ruin other people's happiness, so they will go to any length just to do that. Narcissists despise feeling as if they have no control over what happens in their lives. That is why if they see their old victims happy with someone else, they will do whatever it takes to destroy that happiness including lying and spreading gossip about the person dating their old victims. With a history with this person, avoiding manipulation may be difficult. Narcissists who can't handle seeing their ex with someone new will do whatever it takes to get back together with their ex. Anyone who has witnessed a jealous narcissist's wrath knows how brutal it can be. The self-esteem of a narcissist lives by their relationship with their old victims. They will be jealous if they see their exes have moved on and are now dating someone else. Because of this, narcissists may act out by sending passive-aggressive texts or phone calls, making their old victims wonder if they are still interested. If your ex or past flames, we're narcissists. All I can say is to make it clear to your ex-partner that things are over and there will be no reconciliation. As I've said earlier, narcissists' exes might feel possessive over you, 
And that's not where it stops. They can get obsessed in your life too, even if you've cut them off. Narcissists will do their best to get you back or take away your happiness. Number four, they will feel cheated. Narcissists have this silly self-absorbed thought that even if they break off their relationship with their old victims, would still assume that they still have control over them. Narcissists crazy mind causes them to act shameless and idiotic. Do you see movies where a jock still lurks over their ex's lives even when they're through? For narcissists, a breakup is too far-fetched. If you have become their victim, no matter what happens, they still consider you their possession. Your relationship with them wouldn't end until they say so. Narcissists will feel cheated if their old victims or exes move on with another partner, living the good life they've always wanted but can't do to their lacking. And if they can't have that happy life, their old victims shouldn't have it either. Number five, they will feel the unfairness of the situation. Narcissists are sore losers, even if they are the ones who brought the breakup in your relationship. If they see you already have a good life after leaving them, they will appeal that it is unfair for you to be happy. Narcissists will try to make their old victims guilty to disrupt the latter's newly found joy and peace. Although narcissists are the ones to have made many mistakes in the length of their relationships, they would try to pinpoint all the blame on their old victims. And they would do all that with exaggerated claims that can humiliate their old victims or exes with their acquaintances. They will get the favors and sympathy of those you interact with daily. They will take the role of someone who has been the underdog and undervalued in a relationship. And narcissists are best at acting these things. If there's one thing a narcissist is best at, that is to play pretend and lie to people. Number six, narcissists will feel threatened. Considering all that you've learned from your relationship with them, narcissists will have this paranoia that you're out there enjoying your life while badmouthing them with your peers. But mainly, narcissists feel threatened by their old victims when they can penetrate their now stable lives. Narcissists always assume that they can go back to their exes whenever they want to. But if their old victims prove that thought wrong, narcissists will be alarmed. For narcissists, people who have gone ahead with their lives are their competitors and will serve as a threat if a situation arises. Everyone with a good life will be considered a threat to the narcissists. How much more do those who come close in contact with them? Those who know too much about their actions? Narcissists might have a lot of overthinking to do in considering these scenarios. And all those thoughts might give them ideas to revenge on their old victims. If you're a victim of a narcissist in the past, I urge you to be more guarded. Because ending your relationship isn't the end of your battle with them. Narcissists are like recurring pimples that are too hard to get rid of. And the only cure you can find is by taking care of yourself. Did you find this video informative? Let us know in the comments below. Like this video and subscribe to this channel. It helps us a lot. Watch this next video over here.